Good morning peeps, here I am, James Atkins at Agos Fishing Adventures and um, I'm at Marsh Farm today. I'm going to see if I can get some big carp down the edges again, as I always fish the edges. Well not always, but most of the time when I'm pole fishing. And uh, I've fed the swim down there about half an hour ago, I've mixed up some paste and uh, I'm going to give it a go today. That's going to be a bit awkward because the sun is very bright on the water so I'll have to put my sunglasses on. Anyway. Let's get fishing and I'll catch you in a bit. Wait. And the carp. Down in the corner. Wait. Back. Well peeps, you see what happened there, but I just rung my tackle shop to order another number three section. But he said, I said I'll have to pack up and go home, but he said no, thread it inside the broken piece, which was this bit, thread it over the pole and tape it up, because it's obviously sharp this there, you'll be able to carry on for the rest of the day, so brilliant. And they're going to carry on fishing, so I'll catch you in a minute, hopefully. Well, we're in again. I haven't seen it yet. It's just very, very slowly pulling. I'm not going to try not to break my pole again this time. <laughs> so I've got a section ordered, but they say that could take quite a while. But he showed me, as I said earlier, how to repair it so I can finish today's fishing. I think that's a, I think that's a carp because it's not tearing off but it's heavy and weird don't think I didn't realize that's hooked yet I've got my nephew with his son over there fishing they've had a nine pound common already here because I think it's hot. I'm in the shade so I don't mind. They say it should be 30 today but I don't think it'll be quite that high. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Well, 
I've had a few of these now down the edge. Lovely road look. Big handful. Last, it's been a while. Oh, I think we're in. Looks like one of them hybrids. Certainly think it's probably like a bream. Yeah, it's a hybrid, I can see that. For God's sake, Let's do a minute. Oh, fiddly. There we are. Yeah, that's a, definitely a hybrid. Absolutely berserk now. Yeah, look at that. We're brilliant. Red again. It's been a while, that's a big old bream. <laughs> yes, it you start fighting there before I get you on my lap. <laughs> Started doing it just lately. I see the top pros do it as well, they keep fighting like hell. There you go, so it's a half decent bream. Brilliant. Bring another bream. Right close in the edge here. <laughs> Bigger one, I think. Same. Perhaps a little bit smaller. Nice condition. Do nicely. We're in again. Another big old bream. Still a bream seem to come in now instead of the carp. But if they're that size, I don't mind. Old slab. Keep me going anyway. Let's just give you a view of where I'm fishing here. And I'm right just there, just under that tree, just doubling it out from the edge. Literally about a foot out from the side. You might be able to see the caravans through there. It's quite a walk as you've seen. I usually go under those trees over there, but for some reason today it just don't feel right. So that's why I'm down on this side. But I've had, I've lost three carp, snapped my pole. <laughs> I have fixed it, a friend told me how to over the phone. Anyway, so let's get on and do some more fishing. What I'm doing is this paste, I'll show you. It's very really sloppy. Just, just pan it around. Pat it around the hook as best you can, and then put it in the pot from the left. And then when you go out, you tip it to the left. If not, if you tip it over the pole, you'll tangle. Right, let's get this one out. See what happens. I think it must be another hybrid. The way it's gone. Yes, fighting has no bream. <laughs> Oh, 
don't know, that is a bream, but God, it went. I thought that was a hybrid. Never mind. Another bream. I'm breaming here like the pace too. <laughs> I think it's fair with what it is. Seems strange, you get a lovely bite and then that's fair look. He's a little scrawny one, but look, cool, he's thin as paper. Alright then mate, put you back. We're in again. Well, that's fair, I think. Look at that going round and round. <laughs> oh, I nearly lose it while I get the foot of my stairs. Well, we're in again with another breed. I've just changed my bait from paste because I've run out and I've put a 10mm fugger on. And I've put. <laughs> Yeah, I changed my bait to a, from paste to a 10mm Fuca bait. Boom, straight in. Another bream, they like the 10mm. I can get the hook out. There we are. There we go. Oh, yeah, typical. As soon as the camera goes on it. Oh well, let him go. Yes, in him. I respond well, to all you. I've met a new friend who fish here a lot, and that's Dave. Hello. And he's saying how I'm fishing, and he's caught more than I have in this lake. But there you go, that's how it is when you're fishing. But there you are, as another new mate, and hopefully for me, another subscriber. <laughs> I'll I will. subscribe to I'll him as well. I'll subscribe, no yeah. joke, no worries. Good old boy. Yeah. Catch you later then. Well, peeps, had a fairly good day. Not too bad. I had a lot of rud. I had a, um, a what do you call it? That's a hybrid. Roach bream hybrid, that was all right. I knew I'd got that on there. I thought that was a big old rud, but no. Anyway, I've lost three carp today, and you see what happened to my pole earlier on on the first carp. It took me round that tree there, and God, that went off with a run. I was trying to put the other section on, and just as I was getting it on, it done a real big tug, and because you see what happened after that. Anyway, still, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing down here and one of my other videos up here and uh, it's all free to subscribe and like so hopefully i'll catch you in my next agos fishing adventures and i'm gonna pack up now because that's getting major hot i've been in the shade all day and it's getting too hot now and bye bye for now